How long do you reckon this will take us to do the digits? Bring all your staff, bring your parents, bring your cousins, you still won't finish this. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. It's a lot harder than it looks. Trust me. Most yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It's National Pizza Day. I'm with the Wolf of Eat Street, and today we are gonna take on the heaviest pizza I think I found in Sydney. Six kilos, 30 inches. Wow. But first, gotta hit the gym. Get it done. Get it done, chest and back. Oh, hey, we, just, we just pumped pre-workout. We're like a bit itchy and a bit buzzing. So, World Gym Prospect, we're gonna pump chest and back, and then we're gonna smash pizza. Let's go. Training with Scotty is always a good time. Humbling, but good. Scotty was nice enough to let me choose the first machine he would dwarf me on. The Incline Hammer Strength Press. Just when you think you did a good set, Scotty comes along and adds an extra plate. Next we moved on to the Decline Press. And I think my long stringy arms helped me match it with Scotty on this one. Okay, 10 sets deep into chest and we were working up a sweat. Time to move on to back. The Hammer Strength High Row, one of my favourite machines. And then Scotty wanted to finish on a supernated low row. By now, we were well and truly cooked and we were starving. We were ready for this pizza challenge. The streets of Quakers Hill, here we come. All right, guys, chest and back is done. We've made it to dough time. Wolf and Webby, we're going to take on the heaviest pizza I think I've found in Sydney, if not Australia. Six kilos, 30 inches. No, nah, no, nah, it is the heaviest pizza in Australia. That's it. You heard it here first. Let's do this, guys. Let's talk you more eating. The boys down at Dough Time constructed this masterpiece. We chose four flavors off their menu. Meat Mania, Barbecue Chicken, the signature Cheeseburger Eddie, and of course, one of my favorites, Biscoff. Watching them put all this together, I knew we were in for a challenge. But at the same time, to tackle this with my buddy, Scotty, we we're both looking forward to it. We both knew coming into this that we have had terrible experiences with people trying to cook extra, extra large pizzas, but the boys at Dough Time knew exactly what to do and they got it right first time. This was probably the fastest 30 inch pizza I've ever had cooked for me. This is my third trip back to Dough Time and there's a reason I keep coming back for more. And now I'm roping everyone in around me. First it was Kate, now it's Scotty. Both of us were salivating at the Biscoff spread and the cookie layers, as well as the caramel and the peanuts. It's time to roll. Let's tackle Australia's heaviest pizza. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Kenny. Today, me and the Wolf of Eat Street are taking on Sydney's heaviest pizza. We're at Dough Time Quakers Hill, and we've got a 30 inch, 6.5 kilo, you heard right, 6.5 kilo pizza. Guys, it's National Pizza Day. What better way to celebrate? We got Biscoff for dessert. You know I love Biscoff. I got barbecue chicken. I got meat mania and cheeseburger Eddie, the OG of Dough Time Castle Hill. Let's do this, guys. Wish us luck. I'm not joking. This pizza is the size of your sign. Oh, literally. Like, hey, it is too. I swear to God. <laughs> That's mad. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's eat, man. Woo. Yeah, it's all about efficiency. A lean. More for each street. Mm. Tell the difference with the proper meat, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Six type of meat, eh? A whole butcher. <laughs> so we decided to weigh this pizza before we got started, and it came out at 6.5 kilos. The extra 500 grams serves me right for getting the location wrong. It's Dough Time, Quakers Hill. Castle Hill is actually where I grew up as a kid. Look, back to business. We had a massive task ahead of us. No, yeah, how are you eating so far? <laughs> <laughs> we quickly established that each slice was equivalent to one large pizza. The topping weighs more than most pizza. This thing's loaded, man. We don't pay our toppings when we put it on, you know? We do our Arab style. Arab style, freehand. <laughs> That's about one kilo. You're getting there, Scott. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. <laughs> we got off to a really good start. Well, I thought we did until I looked over at Scotty. On the first slice, he's already pulling the fold techniques. Let me get the cheeseburger. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Mad. Oh, this is the best one. No need to talk. <laughs> he knows, mate. He knows. But I had faith. I know the wolf of East Street knows what he's doing. Mm. 
Which one have you had to the most The meat and the chicken? Just the base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just savoring the taste. I heard the lamb was the best part. <laughs> so who doesn't love burgers and who doesn't love pizza? And when you can't decide, that's where Cheeseburger Eddie comes in. The iconic taste of ketchup, mustard, and pickles on some of the most squishiest, chewiest dough you've ever had. Find me a better combo. For those of you watching at home, you can see Scotty sneakily skip the barbecue chicken portion of this pizza and move straight to the cheeseburger eddy. Dripping with sweat, like cardio. My heart rate's one ten. No, no, no. You gotta feel the exercise. Aussies just like to whinge. That's why we get along, we're polar opposite. <laughs> no shit, he gets along better with my wife than me. Nah, no way. Hey, we sit at the table, they're cracking jokes, I'm like, fuck, you know what I mean? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, see <laughs> it has never been more obvious that Scotty is not from the area. Bringing an Aussie larrikin from the North Shore to the West, it was always going to be fun. Yeah, you can't fit it. I got uh, it. Scott's white with the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I really my portion. You know, it's tag team. That's it. All right, I'm a sook. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got the message. I got the message. I could tell Scotty started getting near his capacity, so he gave priority to the VIP cheeseburger Eddie. And to be honest, I can't blame him. But you know what that means. I'm gonna score a second slice of my favorite barbecue chicken. The whole thing? Yeah. Right, bring, bring all your stuff, bring your parents, bring your cousins, you still won't finish this. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. It's a lot harder than it looks. Trust me. Most yes. <laughs> yes. Like, you would have a large pizza, right? If you were to have a meal, you have a large, right? There's almost like eight larges on this table. You know what I mean? So it's a lot. Him a long time, me only two years. 2017. Scott is one of the OGs of the game. Wow. He taught me everything I know. Mm -hmm. He got me back into it. I was like, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. And he's like, you're not done. Let's go. I met this guy when he came and did a like 20 patty burgers. Let me tell you the story. I wanted to impress him so bad. I burnt the whole roof of my mouth. Didn't want to complain, it was too hot. He's like, are you ready? I'm like, yeah, bro, for a week, I had no skin on my mouth. Mm. Uh, like the challenge was one 10 patty burger. They line up 20 patties, like 10 patty, 10 patty. He did it in like two minutes. And we're just, we're just like, huh? And then he also drives off in the sky and I'm like, he likes cars, he likes food, and he likes skin. Best friends. <laughs> yes, you heard right. I tried to impress the Wolf of East Street on our first mandate. And yes, when I drove off, I was cursing that guy. I had no skin on my mouth for quite a while. But I know since then, Scotty has walked away from many dinners and food challenges, cursing me as well. So it all evens out in the end. Speaking of evening out, 20 minutes gone and it's time for dessert. Well, for me it is anyway. Scotty's almost there. This is elite, man. I could have done six kilos of this. You know what, next time, four kilo biscuit pizza, two kilos ice cream. <laughs> Dream meal. Again, being the gentleman that I am, I knew Scotty was getting full. So I took it upon myself to take the biggest slice of the Biscoff pizza. Imagine we put some soft serve on top. Soft serve ice cream, game over. He wants to make food videos. Good on you, brother. Start young. Training starts tomorrow. Can you hear that? We're going to go to training tomorrow. Don't worry about school, we go to the buffet. <laughs> Gotta love when the little ones want to get involved. But don't try this at home, kids. Eat your vegetables. I could tell by now, Scotty's brain was saying, yum, Biscoff. But the rest of his body was saying, no more pizza. One of the best parts about this food challenge is, for once, Scotty's the minority and getting picked on. Normally, it's me everyone's bantering and cracking jokes at. But today, we outnumbered Scotty. But obviously, we're competitive eaters. We don't take ourselves too seriously and we love a good joke. Scotty is a good sport. And sharing the table with him is always a good time. Hey, bro. Hey, well, I watch your videos. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the support. Wow, well, the pizza, the pizza. Yeah. Six and a half kilos. Well, uh, if we race that, we can. Wager. Another, another one. Let's wager it. <laughs> Thank you, brother. He wants to race me, he walks out with one little pizza. <laughs> I think you have pizza just chicken wings. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> 10 pieces as well. <laughs> Kids meal. Can we do it? Yeah. Huh? Whatever you can manage, man, I'm good. That's why we're a team, see? 
That's it, bro. Oh, one buy, buddy. That's what I've been thinking the whole time. Just one more buy. Just one more buy. <laughs> this morning at the gym, Scotty did the heavy lifting. Now it's my turn to carry the team. And I could see the relief in Scotty's eyes when I said, I'll help you with the final slice. 35 minutes down and Scotty was definitely struggling. But don't worry, I got this. I've got a spare pocket for Biscoff. You're not truly a food challenge partner until you eat each other's scraps. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Right, don't think you're wrong, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. This is the shittest, shittest rip I've ever seen. Oh. May as well just give me the rest of the slice, this way. Come on, Scotty. There you go. Yeah, boys. This is one of those times, if you want something done properly, do it yourself. But we got there in the end. Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah. Done. Pepsi Max. Yeah. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. There you have it guys. Sydney's heaviest, 6.5 kilo, 30 inches. Mixed pizza, what do we have? Cheeseburger, Eddie, meat mania, barbecue chicken, and then biscoff, of course. All right, that's Webby and Wolf coming at you, man, from Dirt Time in Quakers Hill. See you on the next one.